Grand Blanc Community Schools, one of mid-Michigan's largest districts, is now like a handful of others, temporarily reverting back to virtual learning. In a letter sent to parents, the superintendent says the number of COVID cases they've seen in the first few weeks of the new year is alarming. TV5's James Felton spoke with parents to see how they're feeling about once again going back to virtual learning. I didn't care for it too much because it's hard for us working parents to get daycare, especially with COVID and everything going around. That was Christy Thomas's initial reaction to Grand Blank Community Schools going back to remote learning. This after what school administrators say has been an alarming amount of COVID-19 cases in the district. The high school goes virtual Thursday. K-8 through and preschool students begin this Tuesday. Classes are scheduled to return in person January 25th. Despite any hardship this presents, Thomas supports the move. We only had like three buses running all week and um, other than that, I just think it's better for the kids to be at home for a little bit, get the school clean, get everybody healthy again. Thomas has two kids attending school in Grand Blank. We're just going to stay at home and work on our work and get everything done and try to stay healthy so they can go all back to school. Thomas tells us news of the decision was met with mixed reviews. My son's really upset about it. He don't like not going to school. My daughter, she, she don't care. She'll do it online. She'll do it in school, but... It's a lot for the kids. GBCS is also extending its K through 12 mask requirement through at least February 18th. Thomas would like to see this continue the rest of the school year. I think they should keep them on just so all these kids and everybody don't keep getting sick and it kind of protects them a little better. For now, Thomas says she'll roll with the punches while holding on to the thought of better days. I hope that this all clears up. Reporting in Grand Blank, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. Due to high COVID cases among staff and students, Mount Pleasant Public Schools is also switching to remote learning through at least January 28th.